everyone. Thanks so much for joining us again today. It started with our positive uh, quote for the day, which is to succeed in life, you need three things, a wishbone, a backbone, and a funny bone. So make sure you laugh every day um, consistently. I'll send it over to Candace now. She's gonna explain our workout and I look forward to getting started with you guys. Okay. Hey guys. Um, Candace from San Antonio Gym, and just wanted to remind you every time we work out, make sure that you contact your physician if there's anything that you feel like you can't do, um, or follow the modifications, or just um, leave something out, okay? Um, we are going to do four rounds today and four different exercises. I'm going to demonstrate the exercises with Lisa. Uh, before each one, okay? So we're going to get started here. And each exercise, we're going to go for a minute, okay? So the first exercise we're going to do is we're just going to start off with some jumping jacks for the first minute. So Lisa will show you from the side, standard jumping jacks. You can put your arms out in front of you so they're at your shoulder height. That's fine too. All right, so let's get ready. We're going to go for a minute here with these and begin. Remember when you guys are jumping, you want to fall on the balls of your feet and keep it light. You don't want any slamming. You really want to hardly be able to hear your feet hitting the ground. Keep it going. Keep breathing. That's 30 seconds right there. We got 30 more. If a full minute of jacks is too much, remember, just walk in place, high knees to the chest, walk around your space. Ten seconds. Three. All right. Okay, so take a little lap around. Grab a mat or you can use your rug. We are gonna do push-ups for the next exercise and we are gonna go for a minute. So I'm gonna tell you guys when to drop your knees. So we're gonna start off the push-ups in standard form with the knees off the ground. And remember, don't drop your knees until I tell you to. So instead, we're gonna put our hips and butts in the air into a downward dog, okay, or just stay in the plank, um, but don't drop those knees till I tell you, okay, let's get ready and begin. Breathe in on the way down and breathe out as you push up. Don't hold your breath. Keep your core tight. Don't let your lower back sink. These are cues that you want to look for. Keep your legs straight. All right, get ready. Drop your knees right where they are and then continue the push up with your elbows going behind you in diagonal, not out to the side. Make sure you're looking at Lisa and the screen. Got 20 seconds left. Ten seconds. Keep going, keep breathing. Three. All right. Let's everybody get up. Stretch those wrists out. <clears throat> okay, the next exercise we're gonna do, you guys are gonna leap frog, which is basically a jump squat forward twice and then high knees for four back. She's gonna show you again. So forward twice, high knees back, one, two, three, four. All right, get ready and go. Remember the jumps forward and even the high knees back are very light on the feet, balls of the feet. The modification here, you guys, is just to step forward and squat twice, watch Lisa, and just high knees back on the walk. But I want you guys to try that jump and the high knees back 
picking those feet up off the ground like that. So we're 30 seconds in, we got 30 left. Another thing you could do when we come back to, to round two is you can do the first 30 seconds with the leapfrogs forward and the high knees back with the jump and then finish it off in the modified. 10 seconds. Three. All right. Good job. Take a walk around if you need a nice break. Get some water. Just going to grab my water. I'm exhausted from watching her do that. <laughs> All right, next exercise. We're going back down to the ground. Okay, so we're going to go into a toe touch. Keep the chin tucked. If the neck starts to bother you, you can put one hand behind and then toe touch with your other remaining hand. And then at 30 seconds, I'm going to tell you guys to switch. And this is what you're going to switch to. Take a look at the screen. Look at Lisa. Chin is tucked. Shoulder blades are off the ground. And you're doing these alternating side bends by bringing your fingertips to the heels, okay? So get ready. We're going into that. And go. Toe touches. Keep the chin tucked. And you want to breathe out on the way up. Okay, let's get ready. Feet go down and let's go into those side bends. Keep your lower back planted on the mat. You don't want to feel yourself scooting back and forth or moving down. Ten seconds. All right, take a rest, stand up. We're gonna start round two in a little bit here with those jumping jacks. All right, get ready. <clears throat> and go. <coughs> Nice soft landing. Make sure that you are paying attention to that. Can you hear your feet hitting the ground too much? Okay, we're 35 seconds in. Keep going, keep going. Fifteen seconds left. Keep it up, keep it up. Five seconds. Don't forget to keep breathing. All right. Okay, take a little walk around. We're going to get ready to go down into our push-ups in a little bit here. <clears throat> So remember, knees are up, core is tight, your wrists are directly under your shoulders. We're not dropping the knees until I tell you. So the first half, we're doing this standard form. The second half, we're going to drop the knees and finish it off and really get that chest to almost to the floor. All right, get ready. Knees up. And go. Elbows are diagonal and going behind you, not out to the side. Okay. 
Remember, butts in the air to downward dog if you need to take a break. I'm gonna have Lisa show it to you really quick here. Take a look at the screen. That's what you do if you need a break. Don't drop those knees. Until and now. Drop them right where they are and continue. Breathe in on the way down, blow out on the way up. 15 seconds left. Five seconds. All right, all right, everybody. Sure you're working hard. Let's stretch those wrists out, shake them out. Our next exercise we're gonna go into is that leapfrog forward and high knees back. All right, everyone, let's get ready to go. So I'm gonna have Lisa show you it again. Two forward, high knees back. One, two, three, four. All right, get ready. And go. And one, two, three, four, and back. Remember to go at your pace. All right, we're 30 seconds in. <sighs> 15 seconds left, you guys. Keep going, keep breathing. Five seconds. All right, take a rest, walk around. All right, so next one, remember we're back down on the ground for our toe touches and side bends. Okay, get ready, legs in the air, feet in line with the hips, and go, tuck that chin, breathe out on the way up, as your fingertips go toward your toes. Keep it going, you guys. All right, here we are. Let's drop those feet. Chin tucked, and you're going to the side toward your heels with your fingertips. So you want to get, make sure that that lean is getting all the way down there. So you're leaning to the side. Really bend at the side there. You got 10 seconds left. Five. All right, good job, everybody up. <clears throat> Round two complete. Halfway there. That's right. All right, so we're gonna get ready to go into our jumping jacks. Okay, and go.
All right, you guys, that's 30. Keep going. Fifteen seconds. Keep it going, keep breathing. Three. All right, take a walk around. Shake it out. We're gonna get ready for our push-ups. Take a breather. For you guys who aren't jumping, um, doing the modified version of the jacks, uh, right now, anytime during the rest, you just want to keep doing knees up or walking around a little bit, keep the heart rate up. All right, so let's get ready for our push-ups. Remember, first 30 seconds, we're going to keep our knees off the ground. Super important for building strength. Guys can start getting into the position, get ready. <clears throat> Wrists under the shoulders and go. Breathe in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. Elbows are behind you, diagonal, not out to the side. Core tight. You want to take a look at Lisa as her she's got her chucking her chin back so that her head is not dangling down to the floor. Tuck back the chin. All right, let's drop those knees right where they are. And go. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. All right, come on up. Shake out your wrists, stretch them out. Okay, we're gonna get ready for our leap frog and high knees. Round three. Okay, get ready and go. Keep it going, keep it going. We're at 30 seconds here. <clears throat> 10 seconds. Three. All right. Okay, walk it out. Walk around, let your heart rate come down a little bit before you get down to the ground. <coughs> For our toe touches. Okay, get ready, you guys. We're gonna go feet above the hips. <clears throat> Tuck the chin and go. Reach for those toes. Breathe out on the way up. 
Get those shoulder blades off the ground. <clears throat> Okay, let's get ready. Feet down, we're going into our side bends. I want you to really bend at your midsection there. Get up, get down there and touch those heels. Keep the chin tucked. Shoulder blades stay off the ground as you go back and forth. Got 10 seconds left. And three. All right, everybody come up. Get ready for round four, our last round. We're gonna go into those jumping jacks. All right, so remember light on the feet and go. All right, you guys, we're 30 seconds in. Keep it going, keep breathing. Fifteen seconds. Five. All right, walk it out. The last round, you guys, make it good. <sighs> Okay, so we're gonna get ready to go into our push-ups so you guys can get into the position. Wrist directly under the shoulders. And remember, we don't wanna drop the knees, okay, until I say. So the first 30 seconds, we're gonna keep our standard form. Knees off the ground. When I say switch, we're gonna switch that up and drop the knees right where they are, not moving the hands at all. All right, here we go, and begin. Keep breathing. Core is tight, don't let the back sink. All right, let's drop those knees right where they are. Feet go up. Remember your chin is tucked so that your head is not dangling down toward the ground. Not good for the neck. We've got 15 seconds left. Five seconds. All right, stretch those wrists out, come on up. <clears throat> We're gonna get ready for our leapfrogs and high knees. Remember, you're keeping your landings soft, no stomping. Okay, get ready. <coughs> And go. High knees back. And one and two. Remember, go at your pace, you guys.
Okay, when you feel tired, just look at Lisa, look at everybody else on the screen. Twenty seconds left. Keep it going. Ten seconds left. And three. All right. Walk it out. Take a breather. Last round. Okay, so we're going into our toe touches and our side bend crunches for our final exercise. Get ready. Feet up and go. Chin tucked, breathe out on the way up. Keep it going. All right, let's drop those feet. Shoulder blades stay up, chin stays tucked. Really side bend there. Get your fingertips to your heels. Finish it off good. Lower back is planted on the ground or on your mat. Give a slight movement. Don't wanna be shimmying up. Five seconds. All right. Good job, everybody. I'm sure everyone was working hard. Good job, you guys. Yay. Um, just a little quick note about the push-ups. Um, I want to challenge you guys, you know, not tomorrow. Take a day break if you want, but at least three times a week. Set your timer on your phone, put it right in front of you so that when you're looking down doing the push ups, the timer's there. And I want you guys to practice this because um, you'll amaze yourself how quickly you'll get stronger in your push ups and being able to lift yourself from the floor, which is so important. We should all be able to do that and be able to do it um, where it's not difficult. Um, so, yeah, so I want to challenge you guys to do that three times a week. One minute, knees up, just like we did it here, and just watch how you improve. And um, maybe also in the notes section on your phone or write it down on a pad, um, how many are you doing in standard form before you drop your knees, okay? So I really want you guys to try that and then um, and monitor it, okay? So thank you so much for being with us, and we'll see you on Thursday. Bye. Thanks so much, guys. See you Thursday. Bye.